we praise Master Jesus for today, Global Day of Fasting and Prayer. And I want to uh, dedicate this uh, brief talk to the matter of spell. And the question is, is it possible that I'm under a spell and I don't know it? And the answer is yes. Spell is like an enchantment. It's kind of witchcraft. It's kind of spoken words. And these spoken words have magical powers with influence of demonic current that could influence the mind of their victims. Now, a person under a spell is not the word the Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Say the God of the, uh, this word has blinded the mind of the unbelievers so they cannot see. That means the person's mind is blinded. In most cases, an evil spirit is placed over the person's mind to blow person. The person cannot see. It can result in making the person to spend money. That's the case of uh, uh, one of my partners who uh, we happen to have some dream with some awkward people. And when he came to my place for for prayers as we are praying, the, the, the spell was broken. I just called him on the phone and said, where are you? Where, where have you been? He said, I went to see a friend. He said, what kind of friend is that? Because that spell was related to an evil altar. They were regulating from an altar, even though it was a free person moving about, but spiritually it was regulated, dreaming to do some things. Another lady came to see me and uh, she, she had carried her spell for years. And when she came, as she spoke to me, as I touched her, the power of the spell was broken. Now, a spell is targeted to compel the person to act according to the will of the one that cast the spell. So that if someone is under a spell, there's a purpose for the spell. The spell has a drive to make it go against your will. He can be a spell to marry a particular person. He can be a spell to give somebody your money. He can be a spell to be a slave. So women cast spell on their husband. They do what is called good boy. The boy, the man cannot reason freely. The woman want to bless him. The man can live a sexual immoral life. He can do anything and she cannot, the man cannot fight back. He can be a spell. One lady that owns a, a school here in Port Harcourt, the, the, uh, the accountant cast spell on her. She cannot come to the school. He was using the money. They're a very big school, they're a very big property. Until the day, one day, the spell was broken through prayers from the saints. She went back and the man asked her, what are you doing here? He said, you asked me what I'm doing in my school. That was why he was exposed and the man was sent away. So spell is an evil force. In offices, junior officers come cast spell on their bosses to drive them. In neighborhoods, negative people cast spell on women to have sex with them. In some places you call churches, when you go to that place, they cast spell on you. Whatever they tell you, do it. They say, go and sell your party. You go and sell and bring. Go and do this. What they, they tell you, you must do that thing. At times, married women go there, they, they, because of the spell, the pastor is able to sleep with up to 10 married women, and all of them know it, they cannot resist him. At times, in, just in many areas of life, spell is evil. In the chapter 18, verse 21, God condemned the casting of spell. He said there must not be somebody among us who cast spell. Spell is directly connected to witchcraft, and in witchcraft covenant, they also cast spell on people. They tell people, people and people's image and place them somewhere and after they regulate their life, they are even cast spell upon somebody to go and commit suicide. Some cases you hear that people they went and committed suicide, they committed that suicide under a spell bound. They were pushed in to do that kind of something. Women have been so under spell and packed out of their husband's house. A lady came to me one day, went to pack up my husband's house. My wife and myself were there. I would ask her why. He said, I'm not in love with me. I will rebook that demon of spell. And she went back. It's a husband's house. So spell can even be cast on young people, on wicked neighbors, can cast spell on intelligent children. And this friend begin to behave white, begin to go uh, take alcohol, to go into courtism. The one case I've told us here before of a father who was into witchcraft. The daughter, his only daughter was doing well in university. And he took a box and prepared her some rituals and cast spell on the daughter. And the daughter left school, went to Rome, as a mad woman. It was a man of God that exposed it, and they came to the house, and they found the box from which, uh, in which the man had used for the ritual. When that thing was destroyed, the man became okay. There's one uh, uh, situation in one compound here in Port Harcourt, where the landlord of the house cast spell on the, the members of the, in the, the compound, and they were drinking from a container until a brother in the comp compound began to pray 
about because every money they make amounted to nothing. He was draining their money spiritually. Many of them were not able to pay their house rent and feed, feed him. I don't know how that in service witchcraft purpose. I always think that witchcraft is an evil agenda. But when that brother rose up in prayer, that landlord died. We wanted to we wanted to wash out the, the tank from which they drink water to prepare for his burial. They saw a light tortoise with all the name of the uh, tenants of the, in the in that compound on the body of that tortoise. He has used that as a drink that water, use it to regulate their destiny. So this is what we know we can say today about uh, casting on, on, on spell on people. And the question now is if uh, I'm under a spell, what do I do? The point is that if you're hearing me now. Now, and you begin to feel like you're under a spell. In fact, it's sure indication that the spell has been broken about seventy percent. It's difficult for you to know you are under a spell. In fact, those people under a spell, they argue back, they talk back. He talked, maybe he's in the wrong church and the pastor is exploiting him. One case, they, I met a man here in Portugal. The, the man, the landlord was sleeping with his wife. And the man was bragging that this place I'm living is where my life started to, to succeed. He was under a spell, never to reason freely. So in such churches, the person can do this is freely. But I think what you should be asking, how huh, if uh, my, my brother or sister, my beloved one, is under suspect, what do I do? The only solution to spell casting is not to argue with the person. Don't argue, don't argue with the person. He can not understand you. The first thing is to go into aggressive prayer. If the person is somebody who has authority are over, you learn how to pray over the person. You go pray over the person, lay hands on the child. Command the evil spirit driving the child, the man or the woman to get out. If you know a person that may be aggressive, you take the person's picture or image and keep it somewhere and use it for prayer. The same way they use your picture or image in the witchcraft kingdom, you can take that object or image in the place of prayer and begin to pray with that person. You can also be a spell for sickness. That's not begin come in a spirit that will be sick. So this, this, this one does not control your mind. But if there's direct sickness into your body or send an evil arrow into your body that you 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 become inexplicably sick. There will also be a spell of mistake. You just that everything you do, there will be mistake. There's an error. I struggle with that in a lot. The spell of mistake, you just keep making mistakes. So young ladies, immediately the man wants to propose to them, something will happen. One girl I can't was that the day before her marriage, she met a man on the road and followed the man to go and sleep with the man, and that was another man they crashed. Some cases they will be so confused about who will marry them, all kind of men will come to be confused. Some young men, when that thing comes, they will always take their money into gambling or something. So you listening to me may not have a spell where your mind is blocked. It may be a negative current around your life. I always talk about when I, when I talk about the, the man with accent in uh, Second Kings chapter six, where he went to God has gone to court, the accent flew off and went to the heart of the sea. So of course I carry this spell of bad luck. Anything we put hand, there will be bad luck. So from them, there are demons inside of your body that engineer this thing and generate the negative current that bring those negative fortunes. So what do you do? Aggressive prayers. Learn to pray and express. That's why on this platform, I always give people prayer topics that are geared towards warfare. And, and if, you, if you ask me for them, I can send you soul prayer topics and they can assist you to do aggressive prayers. If it's your husband, and he's, if he is under his spell, pray over the house, pray over him. And as you anoint the room where he stays, don't pour oil over the place. What's a little oil? Make prophetic prophet declaration. As you go not to pray, the power that will be broken. I want this opportunity to invite you for deliver, uh, Deliverance Week uh, 2021. From the first to the sixth of November, 2021, here in Port Harcourt, Nigeria, uh, uh, Atali uh, 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 Civic Center. In this place, we'll be deal with what will cause people and wife and bad luck. If you have such cases, you have free to come along. Make sure you share this message to other people because there are people whose families are going through this kind of situation. They don't know what to do. They keep on going to the native doctor, going to wishes and wishes and wizards. But if they get this kind of message, they can go to this program, they can be delivered. If you need my book, Comfortable with Child Neighborhood, you can go a long way to help you. The other books are written on uh, uh, how to deliver and deliver and deliver, how to overcome spirit of and wife uh, problem and uh, 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 other books in that direction. If you call us, you can get them, but especially I want to come for Deliverance Week 2021, November 1 to November 6, here in Port Harcourt. Please call this number if you're looking for direction. Plus 234 You can also call plus 234 
9075073694. Other number plus 234-909-286-2555. Any of these numbers you call, you can be assisted to locate us. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Ema Angel Mosu. I'm the National President of Prayer Network for Pastor Revival and the Senior Director of School for Universal and Spiritual Warfare. Hope to see you then. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.